Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Joe Nagus of Colorado. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you for uh, being with us. It was only really a matter of time and distance from the most urgent phase of this coronavirus for that conversation to begin. Right in the beginning, there was remar remarkable bipartisanship in getting the first few bills out there, and they were problematic in some ways, but, but there was good intent behind it. Now we're getting to the point where you're hearing voices saying, uh, this is a wish list, it's a Christmas tree, um, it's time for us to stop some of this stuff, uh, no more enhanced unemployment insurance, uh, don't make it easier for people to stay home than go to work. So people are starting to get back in their corners, making the next step harder. Yeah, well, it's good to be with you, Allie, and it's good to see you. Uh, what Senator McConnell said couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, this notion that the HEROES Act is a wish list um, is just inconsistent with the facts. Most of the provisions in the HEROES Act are bipartisan, and they build on uh, many of the successful programs that were enacted in the CARES Act and other relief bills that passed, just as you noted, on a bipartisan basis. But it's worth just taking a step back, because I think you've accurately described the very precarious a situation that our country finds itself in, with nearly 40 million people out of work, with millions of families struggling to figure out how to put food on the table and to pay their mortgage or, or their rent, and, and really looking to Washington and to our federal government for leadership. And unfortunately, that has yet to materialize from the White House. The good news is that the House of Representatives, uh, under Democratic control, with Speaker Pelosi's leadership, pushed forward on the HEROES Act, which is a seminal piece of legislation that will help uh, American families weather this economic crisis, including the direct stimulus payments, doubling down on the program previously, uh, between $1,200 to $6,000 for American families, extending unemployment insurance benefits, improvements to the payroll protection program, and, uh, lest we not forget, putting our heroes first uh, by funding $1 trillion worth of fund stabilizations for our cities and states and our tribal governments. And just, you know, here in Colorado, I will tell you, I'm hearing from local county commissioners, both Republican and Democrat, about how important it is that we get this bill done so that they can continue to pay their firefighters and their police officers, the, the first responders, the folks who are sacrificing their own health to protect the health and safety of others. These are not blue cities. They're not red cities. They're American cities, and they expect yeah. the federal government to stand yeah. up for them in the way that, that they've stood up for us. You bring up an interesting point, though. The people you just named are not paid by the federal government. So the issue is that uh, the federal government can print money, the federal government can go into debt, which it is doing. Uh, states can't. So when the money stops and people are still not working and businesses are closed down and people are not earning so that they can pay tax, uh, states and municipalities then have to think about the services they offer. As much as they would like to keep them going, most states cannot, uh, without issuing a bond to build a dam or something, they can't go into debt. So they can't pay firefighters, police, teachers, uh, uh, trash collectors. And, and this is going to, so while it looks like this crisis is over, for states, it's only going to get worse. That's precisely right, Ali. And we know that there will be deleterious impacts on our economy for months and years to come if we don't make the necessary investments today. And that's why uh, we've heard, you know, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Mr. Powell, make you know, comments uh, with respect to the need for federal intervention. So, look, the Congress, at least as far as the House is concerned, is going to continue to work to deliver results for the American people. We'll be back in Washington next week. It's regrettable that the United States Senate is on vacation for the next 10 days. I would hope that Mitch McConnell uh, would ultimately, you know, uh, read the tea leaves, see that uh, Republican uh, local officials, Democratic local officials, Americans writ at large are looking to the Senate and to the House and to the White House for leadership and would put the HEROES Act to the to the floor for a vote, uh, because I think at the end of the day, uh, it would just be a huge relief to so many American families who are, you know, again, uh, faced with unprecedented challenges presented by this pandemic that we're all experiencing together. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you uh, for joining me. Jonah Goose is a Democratic congressman from Colorado.